Welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about how to create a desert night camo tiger stripe pattern. So to get things started we're going to talk about the materials that we have laid out here. We're going to have to have some frog tape or uh, 3M masking tape however you prefer but I prefer frog tape. Uh, two inches is a good width for uh, general use on this project. You're gonna have to use also uh, spray paint in terms of foliage green or and tan. These are the primary colors that we're gonna use today. I typically like using Rust-Oleum paint because it sprays on thicker and it has less running compared to Krylon. Another thing that you'll need is stencils. So as you see here, uh, my wife is pretty crafty and she figured out how to make stencils with uh, paper or uh, stickers or vinyl stickers. Other pieces of equipment that you'll need is of course the rifle itself and a spare magazine that you will probably be painting on. Just want to show you uh, some of my uh, other artwork or fun things that I've done before. This is a banana mag that I made. I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to show it out here. But we're probably using this standard GI mag to paint today. First things first, what we want to do is make sure the weapon is safe and clear. As you can see here, bolts lock back and there is nothing inside. Let's cover the dust cover back up. And the next thing we'll do is clean the oily part on the rifle. Now when it comes to cleaning, you can use different types of solutions. Some people use isopropyl alcohol spray on there, and uh, some people use bright cleaner. What I use is just kind of a mixture, a homemade mixture of just kind of high proof vodka and a little bit of water. I swear I'm not an alcoholic, but um, the military exchanges sell bottom shelf stuff and high proof pretty cheaply. So this really works well as a cleaner and degreaser. And especially if you want to uh, clean and degrease around the house, this is great on stoves too. Another thing I want to note too is that uh, when you paint your AR or your rifle, make sure you extend uh, the brace or stock that you have all the way out so that way you can um, paint the buffer tube as well. You want to make sure you hit the optic body tube if you have any optics that you're planning to paint so that way the paint can adhere readily. All right, after everything is adequately dry, we're gonna start taping off places where you don't want paint, such as the optics, flashlights, and so on. So as you can see, I taped off things that I don't want painted, and the magazine stays in place. If you want to, you can also tape the trigger on the bottom to prevent paint from getting in there but I'm pretty careful so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And now it's ready for paint. So the first coat is going to be a uh, tan coat. So here is the base coat applied. I left it overnight to dry just because I think the base coat is one of the most important uh, coats that you want to get right. Next thing what we're gonna do is make the tiger stripe for our gun. So if you remember in the tiger stripe mag uh, video, um, I taught you how to kind of make it like a uh, random and to peel off the sides right here and tape it down. You can do the same thing on here, but 
it's gonna be slightly different because what we're gonna do is cover most of uh, the areas that we want uh, to be tan still. And keep in mind, those tan areas are gonna be used uh, later on, or sprayed over later on with our uh, digital night cam template. Now one side is done, we're going to just flip it over and repeat the same. The rifle has been taped all around and the exposed parts are going to be that uh, camel green. It's about 20 minutes and everything is dry to the touch. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now that it's all coated, we're going to wait another 20 minutes and then after that we will peel the tape and continue on to the next step which is to apply the desert night camo pattern. It seems like everything's dry to the touch so let's see what it looks like when we peel up all the tape. So here is what it looks like when all the tape is kind of off. Looks pretty cool already, but we'll kick it up a notch and put some digital night camel here shortly. I'm gonna spray a little bit further so that way I'll get the effect, but I don't saturate the tan. let this dry for maybe a couple minutes and then continue on. What I'm doing now is just kind of evening out and quote unquote dirtying the rifle so that way the tan is not too tan. I'd say it's a pretty successful job here and uh, yeah that's how you paint your rifle digital night camo tiger stripe if you learn anything here today please hit that like and subscribe button uh, please share with your friends uh, that really helps me a lot on my little small channel it really motivates me to make more videos thanks for watching guys I appreciate all your support